Hi, Sai. Welcome back to Julian's Garden. I hope you're all doing well. Now we've got um, rain the whole week last week and cold and cloudy, but uh, we've got beautiful weather yesterday. Today, you can see the blue sky of my background there. Beautiful, but a little bit breezy. Uh, but I feel much better because we, uh, finally we've got the sunshine. So today, I'm so excited to walk around with you to show you around my citrus trees. And maybe I will uh, give you some tips or maybe also the main thing is you will look at my citrus trees and then maybe you have got the idea so how you protect your cedar trees in the winter where you live in very frosty zone so we got few nights of very heavy frost already and so far I'm so pleased that I have to announce that finally I beat the frost this year and finally we got some harvest of my mandarins and my cara, uh, my blood orange cara cara and ruby grapefruit as well so I'm so excited so let uh, me walk you around I hope you enjoy the the work with me. All right, so first of all, you can see on the cover, still on the structure of my uh, um, mandarin trees, and the other one, that's, that's one, is a lemon tree. Uh, but for the mandarin tree, normally when it's sunny like this, I will uh, come out in the morning or whenever you got the sunshine, I will open the cover up. So let me just go ahead and open uh, real quick, and I'm gonna show you the first. So pretty, and uh, this variety of the mandarin is called, I think, Emperor. And I, this year is the third year that uh, it produced very well. So last year I got hundreds of fruits on this tree as well, but it all fostered because last year I did not have a zip structure and I did not cover it at all. So only a few nights of the frost and after that the, the fruit uh, went very hardy and got moldy. And look at the tree for this season. I'm so pleased that they, uh, they are doing so well on the food, ripening very well as well. You can see that at the moment, I so for this structure actually, I tie three corner and so that's one, that's one, another corner one, like kind of permanently, and I leave one end open. So when it's too windy, I will tie it up. And uh, when it's um, uh, sunny and like normally I just open it so they, for the food to release the sunshine and to make the food or to have the food get sweeter. Look at that, the tree is so happy. And you can see on the top here, they haven't touched the cover yet, but uh, in the future, of course, the tree can go big and torn. And of course, I will chop on the top of, I mean, I will side control about the high, but the width, I still have lots of room for it to grow for the width as well. And of course, it's much, make it much easier for me to have it as well. Okay, so you can see, I don't know how many, how many foods on this tree, hundreds of foods on the, on this tree. And some of the branches so heavy, I have a use, to use a string to lift it up. Look at that, let me show you. Uh, a little bit messy here. You can see the string here, I have to tie uh, the string or the, the tie and to hold the, the branches up. I just want to bending over. Look at this one as well. I think, but this branch is early to be too, uh, too many foods. I will thin it out a little bit, but look at that. Ah, oh, so happy. And even a few days ago, I did open even, but that time, the food haven't turned to kind of yellowing like this. I opened it or I, uh, I just pick one and to see what is it inside. And it's really good. It early, it's a little bit sour to consider doing. It wasn't uh, turned to any color of yellowing at all, but it's no, but it tastes really good. I really love the flavor of this variety. It have seed though. Uh, I wish that it have no seeds, but but that's okay. I don't mind it. I have a other variety. I will show you in my fun yard later. And that variety that it doesn't have any seeds at all. Okay, so let's walk to this side. I'm going to show you my ruby grapefruit. Okay, so this side, I think the cover I haven't opened yet. And by the way, I, I just some, plant some kale over here. Let's walk in this side. So this is very early morning. I think around 9.30, 10 o'clock now. But 
I have been out here since the morning, so let me just open this cover for my. This is my lamb tree, and it has a lot of fruit on it as well. And this lamb tree is the same time, I planted it the same time as uh, my mandarin that I just showed you. And this man lamb tree, my mother in law, she bought it for me. And so uh, does uh, the mandarin tree as well. Let me show you on the fruit looking really good and I did cover it so the foot have no frosted anything at all so happy with this and a lot of flower and new baby foot as well look at that so many flower and the tree is so healthy okay for this will be great food and I'm sorry about the mess over here let me open this real quick so you can see it hang on please wait for me All right, I hope you see better. So for this structure, so for the main structure, I got one lemon tree over there with double grafted. Let me do variety on that tree. And I got this cover here. And uh, for this grapefruit, uh, ruby grapefruit, I just use uh, one end of the cover and to okay, bring it over and to protect the foot as well. And they are ripening beautifully as well. And you can see they got some cold damn and the, some snail is not eating them during the night. But I don't mind about that, but overall the tree uh, looking very healthy. And this tree, I dug up on me and my husband dug up from a lady. She gave it to us uh, and the tree was eight years old and the tree pretty big. So I I think if you want to transplant it like big tree, big cedar tree, you can definitely uh, do it. And it seems transplanted very well as well. And the fruit, look at that. They are ripening beautifully. And it's starting to turn. So for the kind, they turn to you know, and now they got some a hinge of pink as well. So that is really nice. So please visit. I don't know how many fruit on this tree though. I think a while ago I count maybe 20. Let me shrink it to this side so maybe you can see more food. Can you see that? And this is beautiful. They're rhyming things so well. Oh, I'm so pleased with this. Look at that. And look so juicy as well. All right. So you can see, I just use a false cloth. Ah, I remember the name now. <laughs> Just a fourth cloth, cloth, just uh, cover it and try to not touching the leaves or the fruit as much as possible because when the, the cover touching the fruit and then the eyes or the fourth layer on the cover and then we still damage the, the fruit as well. Look at that. Okay, let's ho go to my front yard and I'm going to show you my other mandarin trees and my tangentials and my blood orange as well. All right, I'm in my front yard now and I got two containers of tangianos that I think uh, they are nearly three years old now. And this is the second time or second year they produce the fruit. And on the fruit, I, or on the fruit on the tree, I did not uh, have to thin them at all. They just drop whatever they couldn't hold on or couldn't bear on. So finally, they, I think they decide, okay, I'm going to keep this amount of fruit on. But also, I'm not sure, maybe also we got a lot of rain there as well. But very happy with the amount because I think actually, I got, I think, over 10 foot considering the tree that's only three years old-ish and very healthy trees. And this, uh, these two trees that I got them in the container, I think I reported them this early spring. And they are ripening beautifully as well. Look at that. Wow. Is it, uh, is it looking good? So last year, I got some food, but I, um, I moved the container a little bit closer to that corner and it didn't have much of sun. So it was sweet, but it wasn't really full flavor. Uh, but some people say that like, the cedar tree will develop the flavor after a few years as well. So maybe the first year, like last year, it was okay-ish. So maybe hopefully this year, I, the food will get much sweeter. 
because I moved the, the container more out into the front. And look at that. I say looking good. So even this one, uh, this variety, I have to say that it's very cold hardy. Uh, but if you want to have uh, food, of course, you have to give it some protection. So over here, I got very uh, hot, okay, warm, warm from the house. So bring them kind, some kind of heat during the night. But also this area, I don't have much of the force lay on, on the tree or the whole area here. So that's really, really nice. So if you have the spot, something like this, like not facing actually, this area is not facing, uh, and you can definitely go uh, cedar trees. I got a lot of cedar trees in this area. Look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's swing you over there. I might just show you my, uh, my what is that, finger lamp. And I have been having them to, to put in gin and tonic. And we use some in the salad as well. They they very ripe now. And I get some to my friend as well. And now they produce more flour for uh for I think for the next lot of the food set as well. Look at that, so healthy. Alright, let's go to my mandarin. Sorry about the mess there. I have doing some a lot of cleaning up because the rent. And I got some pretty flour here. I haven't planted in the ground yet. Okay, so this is my lemon, sorry my shadow, my lemon grab bush and I got one sesame mandarin over here and I have it, so a lot of food on this tiny little tree and I let it to food this year because last year I didn't let it to food I let the food, uh, them to food, uh, this tree to food this year and the food is really nice so I, this variety, it doesn't have a, a seed, no seed at all and the food ripening before the heavy the force or hard force heat. Uh, even last year as well, in my experience, I have it the food way before the force heat as well. So that's really nice if you want to grow this variety and if you don't have the area that you give them uh, to have protection, you can really can definitely go this variety and don't have to worry about the force hit the foot. And come on this side, sorry my shadow. I didn't intend to let this foot, uh, this tree is the same variety, Satsuma Mandarin, uh, to foot this season, but I missed two. So now, uh, because last year I let it to foot and after that it didn't grow much at all because the trees take so many energy to provide for the food. So I took all the food off, but I still miss two. So maybe let's go ahead to, uh, let me cut the foot off and maybe I can show you as well. All right, it's very sunny and windy at the moment. I hope you can see how the foot well though. Let me open it and you can see the foot better. Okay, I got the big bush of the uh, of uh, the strawberry in here. So I think in the future or in early spring, I will dig out some of the lemongrass bushes as well. So here's some room for this mandarin to grow. But at the moment, I just use them for uh, to give some more protection for the mandarin tree. Okay, I hope you can see the foot well. So I think the little guy here, I miss it. <laughs> Look at that, that all the way down here. Can you see the foot like this? Can you see a yellowing in there? I think I just go ahead and cut it. Look at that. Oh, looking really good. And the foot are very big. Okay, let me go ahead to cut the other one. This one all the way down. Inside actually. Oh, this one just hiding inside. Okay, I got it. Look at that. I'm stay looking gorgeous. Let me bring it to the shade. I hope you can see better. All right, let's move them over here. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, Sasuma Mandarin. Let me open once inside for you so you might want to have a look. Okay, look at that, very good. So this tree, so I think it's like I missed um, to pick them up or I just tried uh, the best, but I missed you, so the foot is really big. The other tree, I did not pick much of the foot off. I let them to do 
or by itself. So here a lot of food on, uh, but the food wasn't as big like this one. Okay, look at that. Very easy to peel. So they say that this variety is very easy for, to peel. And this variety, if you just uh, by accident leave it a little bit too long, it doesn't go too dry. Still very juicy. Oh, let me open right in the middle. You can see how juicy you see. Oh, really nice. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh. One more. Let me try one more. Oh, we ate a lot from the other tree already. But let me sh open it again for you. Look at it. How juicy is it? All right. So the last stop in my carol camera, but already. Sorry about the mess here. You know what I'm doing over here. I will show you maybe in the future later. Look at that. Very messy. I have been very busy actually. All right. So this is my caro caro blood orange and i got this structure see the structure that i use um, for my tomatoes uh so when my father-in-law he could build something for me bigger and sturdier as well and this all the timber like from the old fence from this property before when we moved in and some other bits and bits as well that we just picked them from the park uh they somebody just left the pallets over there i think this one from the pallet as well look, look at this one and this one from the old fence and the old fence I, the over 30 years uh, ago uh and here let me show you the food the let me see let me show you it starts ripening really well as well so during the night i just use my old curtain to cover it and during the day, when it's sunny like this, I open it so it's for it to have some sunshine. So um, this area I got for this tree is full sun. So right in the middle of nowhere. So it receives a lot of sun. Uh, so I think uh, the main thing is you just have to protect the food. Last year, I did not have to uh, cover it and all got frosted and was so sad about it. And this year, I determined to cover my food. Uh, and I could say this variety is quite snow growing as well. It doesn't grow as fast as like the mandarin tree or some other food trees that are tangelo that I just showed you. I got this tree, I think, over three years old now. And I still feel that the um, snowing uh, growing very still uh, quite snow to compare to the other citrus tree but overall very happy with this and I got a lot of food over the inside there as well they are starting ripening too they are turning beautiful uh, I think it can take a few more weeks I think three more weeks to get them ripened so I think that is for the video today. You can see I got the whole mess over in the yard. I finished up this video and I got to do some planting, do some cleaning up as well. I will link uh, the video of the, um, the structure that my father-in-law helped me to uh, to build um, uh, the, the structure to protect my mandarins and my lemon trees that I just show you. Um, and they were built uh, by the electrical, electrical condor like that all those stuff which you got in bunding. So I will uh, link that video below in this description. And if you want to know about that more, I think that video I just show you about what I'm talking about the site and the type as well. Um, and uh, if you don't uh, go with that, um, uh, that material, and of course you can just build anything from the uh, like uh, recycling uh, timber as well. Like I just show you with the uh, with my Cara Cara um, blood orange that we just built from the old fence and old pallets um, and i think that's it and thank you so much for watching and see you in next video bye bye